Oh gosh, I only just realized that we don't have that much time left. Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Corinne and welcome back for day 28 of my month of planning with me series. Before we jump in, just a shameless self promo that yesterday I did release my November plan with me video. So if you haven't already seen that, there is a link in the top corner if you wanted to check it out. Since that one I have actually made a few changes though because I can never leave well enough alone. So in terms of my trackers, I didn't end up doing it on video but I went and put in all of these horizontal lines and also added drop shadows to each of the boxes. And I also realized that as part of my setup I missed a page and I also have a space for a to-do list. This is essentially my term 4 to-do list but really it's just for the whole month of November. As you can see I haven't quite coloured in the header yet but I'll get around to it later. Today I have so much to do, but before we get into planning, first for today's tidbit. For today's tidbit I wanted to talk to you guys about hand lettering versus handwriting. Now I consider all of the writing that I do in my bullet journal to be hand lettering. I don't actually use any of my regular handwriting in my journal at all. This is mostly because my regular handwriting varies a lot. I have a tendency to switch between slanted versus straight up and down letters, which means that if you're putting those in bullet journal spreads, they end up looking messy just because the writing isn't consistent. To get around that, as you guys will have seen, I use all caps when I'm doing any of my to-do lists or any bulk writing that I'm doing in my journal. In terms of my headers, I'll also write these in what I like to call hand lettering. A simple style of hand lettering, but still hand lettering. Along with my all caps print, I also use cursive. Again, this is something that I wouldn't consider to be my usual handwriting. So these three are the main styles of hand lettering that I'll use. The sizing of these two in particular may change depending on the space I'm trying to fit them into, but for my bulk writing this is always going to fit within that spacing. For my actual handwriting however, well first of all I don't like to write with fine liners. As I said these ones are a lot less uniform, a lot of the time I do like to slope my letters but sometimes I will have them straight up and down. Depending on how fast I'm writing, this also will change what it looks like. And of course when I'm writing words, I do have a tendency to join some letters and not others. A good example of my regular handwriting is in my power sheets. So as you can see, most of the letters aren't connected, but every so often there are some that are. So for instance, H and E in schedule, those two are connected. So are D and U. Another example is R and E in recipe, and T and I in collection. If we just compare the writing that I've used for my action items versus the writing I've used for my encouraging words, both of these I would consider to be my handwriting, so you can see that it doesn't really remain consistent. These ones are all sloped, while these ones are straight up and down. When it comes to my bullet journal, part of the reason that my spreads end up looking neater is because all of my handwriting, quote quote, handwriting, is the same, or uniform, or consistent. 
I find it way easier to achieve that with my all caps rather than my regular handwriting. In terms of some general tips for improving your handwriting, if that's what you're looking to do, my recommendation would be to start by writing out your alphabet the way that you normally would, and then have a look for any letters that you don't really like the look of in particular. Those are the ones that you should focus on first. So if you find that every time you write the letter M, for instance, that the little humps are a little too close together, then getting them more spaced apart is something that you'll need to practice. On to today's planning though, today is Labor Day, so it is a day off, I don't have to go to school today. But that doesn't mean I don't have plenty of schoolwork to do. So, writing down the things I want to get done today. So you can see that today, along with my marking, I also have a lot of chores that need to get done. And I also wanted to take some time to look at my power sheets for next month. Flipping back so that we can transfer any tasks though. <laughs> so in terms of things I've added, I need to sort out the Uber Eats owings for my department. Respond to Felix's email, which he sent last week, so really need to get onto that. Book in my doctor's appointment. The issue with this one is that it's not, like, urgent, so I'm kind of putting it off, but it does need to get done. Populating my November spreads and tidying up my desk after yesterday's plan with me. Anytime that I do a monthly setup, my desk kind of gets in a state, <laughs> so I need to hopefully bring it back to a place where everything is where it should be. One of my top three tasks that I want to add for the week though is writing my year 11 reports. Flipping back. So I've already actually crossed off all of my lessons from last week and crossed off Labor Day, but I need to go and fill in my countdown because week two's lessons are now done. And back to my monthly pages. So I can tick off that high tea has happened and I can also tick off that Labor Day is happening. Flipping over. So as you can see, I have checked off reaching 6k on YouTube. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys. And I really love that you check out my videos. As we've talked about, this one's happening on Tuesday. This one's in the process of happening, as is this one. And donating blood's probably going to end up happening next month. So the only one I can really fill out on here is taking my morning pill, because at the moment it's about 9.30ish in the morning. So I haven't really gotten around to the rest of these things. On to my social media pages. So again, I just forgot to post on Instagram last night. My alarm went off to do it. Yes, I have an alarm to post on Instagram. And I like got the picture ready to post and then just didn't do it. So, whoops. Flipping over. So budgeting is happening either today or tomorrow. I think that because of all of the chores I have to do today, it might end up happening tomorrow. But in terms of active minutes, did not happen yesterday. And my word for yesterday is going to be sore because after drawing out all of those butterflies and little circles and whatever else, my finger was just 
not having any of it. For my meal log, I can fill out up to breakfast this morning. I'm just going to leave Saturday's dinner blank for now because I actually can't remember what I had. I remember that I had a late lunch and when I got home Vogel and his brother were there and they'd already eaten. So... And then they had chips and dip without me, so at about 6.30 I got in the car and went over to the supermarket to get myself some chips and dip. But I was kind of in my bad mood, so I also bought myself a small bottle of peppermint ice cream and sat in the car and ate that before I went home. <laughs> it's kind of sad, I was just like sitting in the car park at the supermarket eating ice cream. <laughs> I stand by my choices. And when I say small pottle, I do mean like individual single serve, like not a full pottle of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. So going in and filling this one out. So in terms of progress made, yesterday I went out for high tea, so I did spend time with my friends. I did some more spraying of the ants. Urgh, the ants. We got a little bit more progress done on the decluttering of the bedroom. Last week I did not get around to trying a new recipe, sadly. Vogel says if I do my chores today I can count them for last week. And I'm totally taking that. I can also put a black dot here because chores get done on the weekend and there is no weekend for week 5. Face mask was done, meal planning is the same as the chores, so we're doing it today and I'll count it for last week. And in terms of my daily action items, yesterday I got my 3x3 reflection done, did eat mindfully, and did actually start making a dent on YouTube comments. I know I'm still really behind on them, so thank you to those of you who have left me comments, I am intending on replying to you. It's just that I've left it for a while now, so there's a bit of a backlog. I do enjoy interacting with you guys though, so it is something I'm going to get done. Well, I'm gonna go and get started on all of my chores for today, but thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos, and until next time, bye!